No. Uh, last time. Dragons cry too. Last time on. Um... <laughs> Dragons cry too. Stop it, Chad. He doesn't live in Siberia. What happened to Dragons Cry One? Yeah. Last time on the Dragons Cry, we took a baby dragon to the kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, um, I, so I'm rewind. sorry. I'll, it's kind of like that. Last time on Dragons Cry, we uh, said goodbye to the team. Um, I'm sorry that I don't remember Jake's character's name, but he chose to stay in the his period. village. What? Iberian. Iberian. He he chose to stay in, in the village. Um, and protect it. Fauna chose to go with Alicia and Hammer uh, to the Dwarf Kingdom. They could travel together for some time and, you know, they, we were all kind of sad to leave each other because we love each other very much. Parting gifts. Yes, and we got gifts. Gifties. And as lucky as Eladaris, he got to take a long ride with uh, Tiru. You know, it sounds dirty when I say it. like they had. Oh, damn it, a carriage ride. There we go. Uh, with lots of songs it. and a lot of boredom. Where's the apples? Yeah, no apples. When they finally reached uh, their destination, they went into this very nice room with some guards and food, and they got they ate some food, and then they met the new free members. Um, a little gnome, a half elf, and an elf. Of course, uh, the elves didn't like Eladar because he's a drow, and uh, you know it, it kind of solved itself. It's gonna be okay. Uh, but they all talked to each other and said hi, and we met this very mm, words wealthy dwarf and his daughter that we don't know if she's half dwarf or not, or maybe she's adopted. Uh, anyway, they told us that Dragon has been disappearing and he found this guy who has bought three baby dragons and one of them died due to... because he really sucks at taking care of baby dragons apparently. But uh, no, it was four, sorry. Uh, and we've been told to go and find the last three of them to save them. So they won't be sold as pets. So we did as uh, acquired of us and went to save the baby dragons. Had to take a ship. Well, you're still kind of in the progress, in the process <coughs> of preparing to save the dragons. You haven't actually done it yet. Otherwise, yeah. uh, unless you just want to hand wave this entire thing and say, "Yep, we done it." No, I, I've just. We're gonna. We, we are on yes. our way, so you know. You know, on, on our, you know, on our way. We, you know, it's been a bit of a bonding experience for some of us. Yes. I haven't got any replies from Jake. No, unfortunately. They'll go with the doesn't not if he doesn't. You know, uh, you know, Elodar and Elodar and you know, Talithel have had a lo had long times of so basically like pulling out into the sketchbook and like, draw me what you want. <laughs> also, we're traveling to Kalapesh. Oh Did yeah. You? City of dreams and nightmares. Mm -hmm. City of kitties. Not quite. And nightmares. City of pesh, I suppose. I guess. City it, of it drugs. Definitely has pesh. There we go. City of drugs. Mm -hmm. And anything you want. It's not really black market. It's really, really <laughs> open market. Sh shall I? Shall I remind you of the government type? Anarchic plutocracy. Mm -hmm. I, I know you can buy slaves. Buy anything. Drugs. So nothing is illegal as long as it can be sold. Can you buy a Pegasus? You can buy Probably. the Tears oh of my Virgins God, that's if you pay enough. Tears of Virgins, really? <clears throat> you can also probably buy the Tears, the tears of Children, which according okay. to Grimace, according to Grimace, buying takes away all the fun. And, and 3D babies. Can Wait, you, what? So seriously, <laughs> can, you, can you buy anything? Can, can you buy, like, um, a Guanodon or something like that? Basically. Most like... Oh, you would know that... Katapesh is the second largest city in all of Galarian, and while many people say that Absalom has the biggest market, those people that say that probably have not been to Katapesh. It is if you can buy something, you can buy it in Katapesh. If you oh. can't buy something, you can buy it in Katapesh. Mm -hmm. 
are we required to maybe stay together so one of us doesn't get sold? Basically. Is it, it kind of like that place? We're all quite an exotic group. We need to kind of, you know, well, keep all the exoticness in one place. If it's discovered that people just grab you off the street and put you in your slave collar, then they would have to pay a fine. Yeah, because then they haven't paid the proper fees. Yeah. And mm. you have to pay as a slave. You, you know, There's no law that says you can't. You no, know, Teru's going to stay close to Eladar, and uh, Aki's going to stay close to Eladar too. So walking as a group is probably a good idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, as a group, we're decently, you know, but being you know, all armoured up or warded up, yeah. you know, we're pretty intimidating. I don't think anyone wants to sort of attack us in the middle of group. We don't really worth it. In that hey, Eladar! We, have, we are bristling with arms and armour. I mean, yeah. We're not really worth that. Besides, we you look know, like I, we have money, so we might be viable buyers instead. No. You know, yeah. uh, I, mean, I, I, I look like a very fine-looking scholar with a wound. So you know, Tira would tell, "Oh, I'm scared. I don't want Aki to be stolen. <laughs> He's such a cute bird." I think stealing is quite illegal. Aki, you guys would pay a large fine for that. Aki, stay over there. Well, do you want him to stay on the ship? What if the what if the sailors sell him? No, no, yeah, I'm saying stay stay on Jake's face. I think we can I think we can trust the sailors. I mean, they are hired by yeah. old man. Winters. Hopefully, you know. Can, well, can I, we trust people not to steal our ship? Like, yeah, I, I will uh, I'll stay I'll with the boat. Here. I fly. <laughs> Arr, the, uh, yeah. the giant bird that is. Mm. <laughs> well, having spent a couple of weeks on the boat, you would have noticed that the sailors. As are rather disciplined and polite, actually, to might be very surprising to some of you who have met certain sailors in a certain tavern, who would rather have punched you because they were drunk instead. Oh. You know, you uh, know. It's okay. At some point is, during the travel, is uh, Rufian uh, okay with Aki staying close to uh, his bird? If Spatero asks nicely. Aki sits on the head of the bigger bird. It's flying above him. He doesn't really care much about it. Like, as long as it doesn't make make him itch or something. Like no. It's, no, it's just flying close. It's a, it's a big bird. I mean, yeah. Aki's just flying close. Mm -hmm. Aki's a friendly bird. He likes everyone. So, yes, Elodor. Aki would never. Mm, yes. Elodor would... Um... Pull the group together. Um, uh, before you do that, you have not quite arrived yet. Uh, basically, I we're starting right as the ship kind of approaches the pier. Hey. Music fitting for this place. Anyone got some? Yeah. Oh yeah, we. Uh, it's a little bit of a break off. It was uh, Prince of Persia, I think, was. Uh, yeah, told. That's what I'm. That's what I'm running right now. What's this that? It looks like a merchant bazaar thing. There we go. What's the link? Prince of Persia. I don't know if you post it or click it. Because yep. I have not had like Arabian Nights music. Sure. Yeah, Prince of Persia is perfect. And I can just click on the link, it's, it's perfect. Yeah, just take some time. Sorry. <laughs> so, so as, our, as our ship is coming into port, yes, Esther? <laughs> Uh, yeah, Adelard would uh, pull the group together at some point during the journey. What time of day is it, Chief? It would be afternoon. Okay. Close to sundown, but not quite. Uh, yeah, he will... Um, if the people show up around him, that is. Yeah, uh, Talafel, Talafel will come tinkering with a... Um, a small golden stone. Yeah. You know, if you call, there's no argument for why Tudor wouldn't be there. I think uh, Rutheran will always be in like the stern, looking over the, the city. <laughs> uh, the, the many spires and, and bustling things, you know, probably wonders of the world all around. This, this was probably actually like a day or two into the journey. Fair enough. Oh, okay. Uh, Kind of at, that, at, that point, I'm at that point, I'm technically like got one of your things in my hand. Mm -hmm. yeah, Ruth at that point was very unenthusiastic about this whole thing. Uh, <clears throat> he just got off a boat, he feels. Now he's on one again. Hmm. They're so small and cramped. 
Now, if I draw, now if I if I inscribe the rune here, uh, Eladar will look over the party. By the way, Tito will point out for Rufian that there is no way that he can use frog eggs for his hair because his hair smells too much of salt, and that is not part of the frogs because they live in fresh water. You've not ever met no Mish Every, Everyone stops looking at Ruthrin. <laughs> <laughs> Walk closer and ask her to sniff his hair. She sniffs his hair. It smells She's... like frog eggs. I don't know if Tira has ever smelled frog eggs, but she does have scent. Whatever they smell like, it smells like that. Oh, just tell me the truth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she nods. Okay, never mind. Anyway, I assume you. I assume that's the reason you're calling us all together. Nods. Yes, I would like to have uh, uh, some of your input on our current um, well, employer. What do you think of him? I really doubt if he's gonna do as he says to the dragons, or this to the dragon babies, because he did tell us that he wasn't a kind person and we shouldn't really... He yeah. is ruf he is ruthless in his methodology, I know this. Then why How would ruthless, he... I can't say. Most why... of the people who are kind people wouldn't really call themselves as such, I don't think. Because I do trust his word. He seemed to have a bit too much of a reputation not to. We we're kind of expendable people here. Acting... Um, he said, "Looks as a, as a deniability. We were deniable. He can just say he has never heard of us, and well, no one has any reason to not believe him." Yes, I, uh, I did get the feeling that he did try to say all the right things to get us interested. I got the distinct feeling that we were being manipulated into this, and I don't really like it, you friends. The goal, however, seems to be genuine enough, doesn't it? Saving yes. mistreated creatures in one way or another. Little less I like leaving all the slaves in this city. So, so does in the city we're going to, I don't think saving them all will be possible. Or <coughs> advisable. Well, Lord Shakes, he said, no, I don't think so either. Uh, the best fight is the fight you can win, after all. And taking on the entire city at this point seems uh, pointless. He uh, frowns, but yes, I... Uh, I did recognize of some of his speech for, or I, I perceived it as manipulation. He was definitely trying to win us over in a way that I felt was not entirely honest. He looks around. We are on his ship, surrounded by his crew. I think we should be careful around the man. It's slightly more sense. It's uh, very intriguing, though. I must say that. Uh, Mm. I hope uh, it doesn't lead to any unpleasantries upon a ship. I have uh, bad past experiences with that. I don't know. I personally uh, have had very little experience at all with the open sea. Looks there is, like a, there the, is the, the railing. There is a, there well, is a ship doesn't necessarily mean sea. Looks down at Ruthern. frowns. Do not worry too much about him. He doesn't seem to really feel the need to explain more about that right now. As if right. his words speak for themselves. Look over the railing again. Ah, oh, very well. In any case... You, should... you will not have much issue. If you, if you fall in, I have solutions to make you far more buoyant. That is reassuring. No, as I said, I am more skeptical about our employer's intentions. I don't think he actually told us the whole truth, but uh, his size looks over again. The quest seems just enough. Uh, freeing creatures from slavery is certainly something good. Even if he has exterior motives, such as shutting down someone else's trade, the methodology is good. Besides, I've never visited Katapesh. It's got to be very interesting, I think. I've, I've only I heard much interesting before. things about the place. Eladar nods towards uh, Talathan and says, Yes, what you said. Uh, it seems to me, rather, that he's using us to shut down competitors. I am not too fond of the idea of being, uh, being some sort of muscle for this merchant. 
however powerful he might be. Well, at least he pays us. I have a feeling you might still end up doing this, even if he simply told you about it. There are frowns <laughs> looking down the room. Perhaps, uh, depending on the situation, I might have. Although, uh, I, I will say that it takes a little more than just telling me of uh, an injustice for me to travel over half the world. There is a lot of darkness uh, at the, place I, the places I was already at. Uh, to forsake that and travel over half the uh, the realm to get to another injustice far away might seem like going over the um, uh, the brook for water, so to speak. <coughs> Nonetheless, there is no point arguing about about all this. There's very little we can do. We're already on his we're already on his boat, and for now, we would we would do the job, or we get off a catapult and wait. Being wary certainly never hurts. I don't know, it's good. I guess we are in agreement then. I will note, watch your back in Katapesh. I was only here for a short time, but... It was... The, pl the place is an absolute mess. At least there's a lot of people around. If, if, you're, a, if you're a merchant, it's, it's a mess in a good way. If you're not a merchant, it's in a bad way. Very well. Yeah, that would be basically what Elder wanted to say. Sure. Sure. As you continue continue your trip southwards <coughs> from nice. Casimir to Gatabash. Hey, Elder, the... try this one. Try this one. <laughs> no. Well, you, it's, it's to your specifications. <laughs> it's bubbling. Oh, let, let me clear that off. There you go. Well, the, the trip goes smoothly enough, with only minor storms in between. The highlight of the entire tour, probably the spotting of Absalom in the distance. But you quickly distance yourself from that particular city. Also, also, southwards. also me occasionally go, go sounding from my cabin out, like the sound of like a dragon. <laughs> All the sailors ducking immediately, looking around. Like, no one sees anything over in my cabin, they don't see anything. And frowning and praying to dolphins and other superstitious things. Praying to dolphins? <laughs> yeah, that's what Ooh. sailors do. Heresy! Do we, do we see dolphins anywhere? I mean, at least, at least they're not throwing cargo overboard. If, if, if that was the case, they'd probably watch from Besmara. How, how yeah, but... close to the coast are we sailing? On the, on the uh, you are keeping your distance until you're basically just past Osirian. Hmm. And that's then nice. you travel towards Scatterfish. Sure. And as you come ever closer to the coast, the air does quickly turn from warm and pleasant and ever so slightly humid to basically just hot and dry and sand just appearing out of thin air in every crevice and crack. And eventually, you do spot Catapesh. Okay, when that happens, it's probably the first time you see Ruthren under deck. <laughs> Sulking be... and feeling bad. Tim's gonna be under deck too. She's covered in black fur. <clears throat> now it's like a yellow from all the sand. I hate Ta sand. In, in, in Talafel's case, in it's like case, bathing in a litter box. You, you don't see Talafel like reading outside now, and like whenever he does go, go onto the deck, he's like got his hood all the way up. Eladar will actually be standing uh, at the reeling of the ship. Uh, you know his uh, cloak with. Uh, with the samurai symbol on it, his holy symbol around his uh, his neck, he will stand tall and proud in the sun and look over the city. He seems maybe a little bit excited, actually. Well, as we near the city, Ruther will certainly come up as well, just to see the look of sailing into the harbors of Katapesh. Yeah, you can't miss that, right? Right. Yeah, the first thing you spot sailing into the harbor is a massive copper statue of a horn-bearded man holding a large trident, watching over the docks. And you also see that there's many, many ships already docked in the, in the dock. The voices of many people floating towards you, including sailors shouting at slaves, cap captains arguing with fee collectors, and just camels shouting at nobody in particular. <laughs> and eventually your ship approaches one of the few empty docks, 
and is pretty much immediately approached by a man in bright blue clothing and an equally blue hat that looks more like a pillow than anything else. The captain of the ship, who has previously introduced himself to you as a Whisk McGonery, quickly uh, approaches the man and they exchange some pleasantry, pleasantries, papers, currencies, talk for quite a while as they handle the docking procedures. And eventually the captain goes back on board of the ship and and approaches the the five of you, or I guess the seven of you in particular, as he says, Looks like we got lucky. Ships with foodstuffs have priority. Everyone else has to wait, apparently. But if that's the case, then the people of Katapesh ain't so lucky. It's supposed to be the rainy season now, but do you smell it rain? I sure don't. Does Tiro smell any rain? You do not smell any rain. You smell a lot of sand. Oh, I suppose. You're muted. I suppose rain might be a different sort, you know, down here in the heat. I've been down here in Kerabesh many times in my lifetimes, around the same time, always around the rainy season, and this is the first time I've seen it so dry. It's even drier than in the dry season. But whatever, it doesn't have to be your problem. It certainly isn't my problem. Do whatever it is. Do whatever it is you have to do. I would rather not know what it is, but do know that I will be here should you have to disappear. We uh, might have some very uh, interesting cargo when we do. I would very much appreciate there being a room in the hold, perhaps, or some similar place when we do return. Uh, Alert on nonsense says yes, and when we do return, we will probably need to leave quite quickly. At least if we sort of, I suppose you'll know when you see it. And if you don't, well, all the better. He smiles at you, nods slightly. Well, for now, the Mr. Fee Collector over there would like us to leave right as we unload it, but. Without this, as he pulls out a large wooden gear and throws it overboard, we won't be go going anywhere for a while. But don't worry, I've, I've got a spare one in a hidden place. But for now, we are stuck here. I, if, if, we're planning, if we're planning to leave, just, just you, you'll know. Look, look to the Skype. You'll, you'll, you will, you will, you will see this. I show, I show him my um, arcane mark. I will, create, I will create this in the air when, when we are coming to leave. You see some sailors in the background talking to each other, doing a quick, strange prayer of walking the circle and then butting heads three times. Yeah. Here, but but magic on a ship is bad luck. Mm -hmm. Sorcery on a ship. Captain turns around and frowns at them. All right, whatever. I think we'll <laughs> see if you have to leave quickly. It, it's very possible we will. Although we might just come back after a good night out and want to sleep it off. In that case, don't leave. As I said, I think it'd be obvious when you see it. Yes. He shrugs. Do yeah. what, it, what it is you have to do, but try not to attract too much attention. I would rather not be chased by everything here when we do have to leave. The singing potato can outrun most ships, but it is a trading vessel. It does have some tricks up its sleeve, but I'd rather not rely on those. They tend to make things explode. I do many things. Anyway. Looks round. Are, are we all ready to um, delve into this maddening sandy city? Well, what exactly are we looking for? It's a pretty big place, I think. Well, we are, of course, looking for the merchant's home, first of all. You remember his name? Uh, probably written down. Tell me, someone wrote it down. If someone has written it down, you would know that his name is Fatima El Jabbar. Do you have a name spelling for that? I do. I just need to make sure I spell it correctly. <laughs> you can see why I want a spelling for it. You don't get the uh. other guy who spelled slightly differently. <laughs> 
exactly. Mm. <laughs> Get rush and storm the wrong merchant's house. You freed my genie. We're like, but that was not what we wanted to do at all. And Sorry, you also, sure. you also know that his shop is called the Garden of Unearthly Delights. Oh, yeah. This does not sound like what we want. I don't know about that. Sounds like a place of chocolate. I mean, could be. Well, probably that and whatever else you can pay for. Well, it's, it shouldn't be too hard to find out where it is. Well, if there's chocolate in my future, let's go. Well, I think it would mostly melt in this heat. No, they, they, it's not quick enough to melt. Not for me. Just take it directly from the the cold store, just eat it like in one gulp. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, scouting around, just at least find out where the guy lives is a, probably a pretty good first step. Walking the pier would just be interesting. I could spend just maybe fifteen years in this place. I heard our frowns down at him. The, uh, the the first I'm of his prisoners has already died from the neglect. I don't think we have that long, certainly. Maybe maybe we should have a look around the look around though the, the port market. Let's let's listen if there's any any mention of him and what he might be doing. Hmm, I suppose we won't really get a chance to look around when we leave. On the other hand, I would hate to have someone else die on us. I think we should try to assess the situation first. Then we can decide how much time we have. Yeah, as good as approaching it as any other, I suppose. Besides, okay. splitting up would probably be a bad idea. We should stay together. We we all we all stick out quite a bit. We should probably stay together. Uh, Jonas, I think the stream died. Oh. Uh, it's hard to tell because nothing's moving, but. Mm, Just black for me. It's true. Oh. Sure. No, definitely. Definitely not working. Uh, uh, it's in the red right now, which means that it's not getting any connection with Hitbox. Then it might just be a box. There we go. I think it should be up now. <laughs> hmm? Oh, this is Lauren. <laughs> right, who is going, to, is going to wear a slave bikini then? You know, Star Wars? Mm hmm. Who will be the Princess Leia of the party? The dragons are probably doing it. We need to just, just sneak in and. So. Free that one and the carbonite person. Or the carbonite dragon. Carbonite dragon? Mm -hmm. Yes. And, anyway, let, 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 let's, at least, let's at, least, at least have a look around the market and listen. Oh. listen for anything about him and hopefully find where his place is. If we don't want to inquire about him, I think just listening around is going to be very difficult to learn anything about anybody. This mm -hmm. place seems so vast. Indeed. Perhaps asking for directions would be fine enough. I think if there's one place where we don't stand out as a sore thumb, it might be here. And I